Okay, first things first, I'm going to walk you through how to make basic UI. This is just regular game with default objects. There's two ways that you can open a UI screen. The first one is this one. This default game buttons will be the buttons for all of the levels that are in your game. You can get to the same screen by clicking, if you click on a level and then you click on this button here, that will open that screen so you'll be able to see the level behind it. There's a bug right now that it will make them offset because they're following the player. So if the player starts a little bit off center, which it does in most cases because nothing's perfectly center, your buttons are gonna look like they're off center, but they're not actually that way. So probably the best way to edit UI is to do this. Go here, choose the UI screen, you open up this way, and this is how the buttons actually look. Okay, so basic UI, you have five different UI types. There's a button, text, images, boxes, and game input buttons. All of these in the default thing are game input buttons. You can adjust their position here. You can adjust width and height. This is visible thing. Um, it's basically useless to do that. What you want to do is connecting and we'll do that later. If you're using these input buttons and you want to use an image instead of that button, the thing that you want to do is go down to the shape and then you change the shape to invisible, then it will be invisible, but the button will still work. If you turn it off this way, the button is basically off. You can't see it, you can't use it. And now if we wanted to have it look like a pretty button, we'd make an image over top of our button and then gonna choose an image for it to be. I'm just gonna make it look like a key. The other kind of button, let's put this up here. This button can do a few different things. It has a set of actions. You can load a level with it, you can open a UI screen with it, or you can close UI screen with it. For this example, let's say we want to load a level whenever someone taps on this button. No, that would be a stupid thing to do. Why would you do that? We want to open another UI screen whenever someone taps on this button. Make that the button action and then transition to choose the screen that you want to open up when you click on that button. I don't have one made yet, so I'm going to just set it there. Two, two, one, two, four. So now our UI looks pretty and we have this thing that is going to open up a menu or something like maybe a level select menu. I'm going to go open my level select menu. I should probably rename it. Here I am. First thing I'm going to do, this is going to pop up over top of my game button screen. So I'm going to make a box. All a box does is sit there and look pretty. So you give it a color. I want my level select screen to be a nice shade of green. I'm going to put it up in the corner and then I'm going to make it big. So now I can't see my button anymore. That's why you push this button and then it brings whatever you have selected. It will bring that thing to the very front so that it's visible. So if you have something behind, you can make it visible again. So now this is my level select screen. I have one button. I'm going to make another button. I'll just pretend we have three levels. I'm going to make those levels say something. Okay, there it is. The level screen looks amazing. I made this little guy dancing in the middle of the screen. The thing I want to show before I leave this screen, we have a button here in the top right hand corner so that we don't get stuck on the screen when it comes up there. We need to give people a way to turn the screen off. I'm going to make this button do a close UI screen action whenever it is clicked. Now, if we go to our level, we press play, we should see there's our ugly button in the top right hand corner. We click it, it brings up our level select screen and we can close our level select screen. There's the basics of making and using a UI screen. The next thing we're gonna look at, the difference between a new a level and a UI level. So let's make a new UI level. Let's go here. This looks exactly like the other, other screens that we've seen before. The only difference is, is that you can move to this screen like it is its own level. All I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to use this as a, a main menu. I'm gonna just put that together real quick. Okay, there it is. In all of its beautiful glory, I have the button set to load the first scene. It's got a title and some images, it's beautiful. The problem is now, if we want this to be our main menu, it's in the wrong spot, the game is gonna start, and the first thing people are gonna see is our first level. So you push this button and it moves it to the front. So now let's try it out, just so we can make sure it works. You press start, we're in our first level. You can run around, get a key, you can shoot by using your key, and you can open your level screen, which I don't have hooked up to do anything yet except open up and look amazing.
basic UI. Check. Number two. And we actually did that too. Okay, number three. This is an important word. There's a concept in a lot of UI frameworks called binding. And instead of using that word, I made up a new word called connecting. Just forget that I said the word binding. 